बसमीम्सम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल डॉक्टर आबिद सरगानी फ्रेंड्स आज हम जो है बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक पर डिस्कस करने वाले हैं दैट इज़ पोल्ट्री पैथोलॉजी मीन्स वाट आर द मोस्ट कॉमनली अफरिंग डिजीज इन पोल्ट्री बर्ड्स एंड वाट आर देयर डायग्नोस्टिक करेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड देयर एस्ट्रोलॉजीज एंड मैनी मोर डिटेल्स सो लेट एस डिस्कस दैट वाट आर द मेजर डिजीज In very first segment, we are going to discuss about the viral diseases most commonly occurring in poultry flocks. There are two major categories of the viral diseases. One is RNA virus families, and other one is DNA viruses, which are causing the poultry birds diseases. Among the RNA viruses, there is Newcastle disease virus, avian influenza virus, infectious brussel disease, and infectious bronchitis these are the major four diseases of the of which the astrologic agent belongs to rna virus families another site that is dna viruses which are causing the poultry birds diseases includes the hydropy hydropericardium disease or hydropericardium syndrome marrick's disease fowl pox infectious laryngeal trachitis these are the four diseases which belonging to the Uh, DNA viruses causative agent. So today we are going to discuss about uh, a disease that is Newcastle disease, of which the causative agent belonging to the RNA virus families, that is Newcastle disease virus. Newcastle disease have various synonyms like Pranikhet. Pranikhet is a city in India, avian. Pneumoencephalitis, on the basis of it, in fact, also disturbs the uh, encephalon of the meninges, avian pest, avian distemper, pseudo fowl pest, pseudo poultry plague, Korean fowl plague, pseudo vogel pest, atypical J flu, gel pest, and titular disease. These are the most commonly uh, synonyms which are used in the study of the Newcastle disease. depending upon the area or the geographical locations newcastle disease is a highly infectious contagious fatal viral disease which is characterized by the respiratory digestive and nervous system symptoms it means this mostly affects these uh, three systems Astrologic agent of the Newcastle disease is belonging to the family Paramyxoviridae. That is Paramyxovirus type one, including the genus Ebola virus. There are nine serotypes of the Paramyxovirus from APMV one through the APMV nine, while the Paramyxovirus type one is responsible for the New Castle disease or Rani Heath. It was first isolated in 1926 from the chickens in New Castle, uh, the region of England. While earlier than this, in 1896, Western Scotland, cause of death of the entire chicken flocks is also considered that it was caused by the Paramyxo virus. Pathotypes of the Newcastle disease includes. Formerly there were four: that is, velogenic, mesogenic, lantogenic, and apathogenic. But nowadays, there are inapparent pathotype of the are the on the basis of the severity of the disease. This is an inapparent form of the disease: respiratory, neurogenic, which affects on the nervous system, and visotropic, which influences on the or causing the lesions or the uh, disturbances in uh, the intestinal tract or the visceral organs like spleen liver etc velogenic means highly virulent which are damaging are the very fatal uh, there are two forms of the velogenic form of the newcastle disease that is neurotropic which affects the nervous system another one is visotropic causing the enteric and respiratory hemorrhages and another another form is mesogenic 
means in the form of mesogenic there are the moderate virulent uh, strain of the virus affecting on the respiratory and nervous system and last one is lentogenic means there is a subclinical to mild respiratory signs while while apathogenic is a condition in which there are no clinical signs appear or very mild case of the disease susceptibility chickens and peahens are highly susceptible organisms and ducks geese and pigeons are less susceptible transmission of the newcastle disease virus occurs via the horizontal means by inhalation or ingestion of the infected nasal discharge and droppings these are the main sources are the routes of transmission of the disease and movement of the live birds like game wild birds exotic or the feral birds or feral pigeons acts as a mechanical vectors which are also responsible for the transmission of the causative agent or the avila virus another one is contaminated poultry products people from the one farm to another farm without uh, following the biosecurity measures contaminated feed transport water and also airborne transmission occurs in which there is lacking the proof of vertical transmission it has not been recovered or uh, demonstrated or the declared that these organism may be transmitted transmitted from the mother or the mother to the feet uh, to the eggs via uh, eggs it has not been found yet and pathogenesis of the disease includes replication of the virus in the mucus of upper respiratory and intestinal tract occurs first then it goes into the bullet causing the viremia through which it is localized into the spleen and bone marrow later on it is transferred to the various organs like lungs intestine and central nervous system in the brain causing the nervous signs symptoms of the disease includes the natural incubation period of the disease is vary from the 2 to 15 days and experimental incubation period is 2 to 5 days respiratory signs of the disease includes dyspnea or the labored breathing rails and sneezing or coughing and enteric or the intestinal signs includes greenish watery diarrhea and nervous signs include twisted neck or the torticollis convulsions muscle tremor stor gazing and leg weakness or the paralysis and sometimes there was severe drop in the egg production with thin and discolored shells of the egg production this is what you are watching that is labored breathing along with the oral discharge there is also dullness in the animal or in the birds and standing on the hogs or the knees and there is also twisted neck which is seen in this diagram that is paralysis along with the torticollis twisted neck on their back and cyanosis are the dark of the comb that is due to the bile pigmentation and diarrhea due to the enteric uh, enteritis and the hemorrhages in the intestinal tract this is what you are watching that is deformed eggs or the misshapen eggs another one is hemorrhages on the conjunctiva that may cause the hemorrhagic conjunctivitis and this is greenish watery diarrhea and uh, sometimes there is also the urets which are giving the color to the uh, feces that is white
and this is comb sinuses or the biliousness of the comb morbidity and the mortality occurring in this disease varies depends upon the virulence and the strain of the organism avian species and their susceptibility environmental conditions like cold weather are more susceptible or uh, the it mostly occurs in cold weather as compared to the uh, summer seasons and secondary infections and vaccination history also has a great importance in the mortality and morbidity while in general consideration morbidity may be around 100% while mortality may reach up to the 80% if the any if the bird is more susceptible and the chances of the secondary infections increased and the environmental conditions are favorable for the uh, replication of the organism or the virus diagnosis of this disease can be achieved through various means like m agglutination test m agglutination inhibition test virus neutralization test fat and cft complement fixation test and the enzyme linkage immunosorbent assay these are the most commonly used tests for the confirmation of this newcastle disease virus differential diagnosis there are also the chances of uh, uh, other diseases which may be diagnosed on the basis of the your experience and the skills that is wise production it also occurs in the infectious bronchitis infectious laryngotracheitis coryza disease crd and foul pox while the hemorrhages on the proventriculus may be occur in the gumboro disease and backward movement may also be occurs in the vitamin e deficiencies while the respiratory signs along with the greenish white diarrhea and hemorrhages on the glandular portion of the proventriculus confirm this disease it means this is the unique characteristic of the disease control of the disease through the vaccination can be achieved there are two types of the vaccines available to control the nd virus that is attenuated live virus vaccines b1 and lesotra and inactivated vaccines while treatment in mild forms for the secondary infectious infections can be done only but it is symptomatically otherwise there is no direct treatment of the virus necropsy findings after death hemorrhagic conjunctivitis respiratory lesions proventricular hemorrhages multifocal all the diffuse or at the esophageal junction proventricular ulceration segmental necrohemorrhagic enteritis clocal hemorrhages at the mucocutaneous junction with fibrin or diphtheritic membrane and sequel tonsils to necrohemorrhages this is what some of the necropsy findings which are shown here number 1 is similarly that is paralyzed bird or the chicken and while the b indicates the multifocal hemorrhages in proventriculus and b c includes the splenomegaly with multifocal necrosis and mottling and b includes swollen indicates the swollen kidneys and e is the hyperemia and mild multifocal petechial hemorrhages in the meninges and cephalon another one is the hemorrhages of the this are, these are the hemorrhages of the gizzard epithelium in an other site that are the mucus coat of gizzard is edematous and covered with the thick mucin or the mucus you are watching here this is an edematous area uh, covered with the mucus this is what mucus coat of gizzard is moated with the hemorrhages you, you are watching here these are the hemorrhages 
This is the diagram which indicates the hemorrhagic, necrotic and focal depth thyroidoid lesions in the mucosa of buccal cavity. And this picture includes uh, indicates the hemorrhagic, necrotic and focal depth thyroid lesions in the mucosa of stomach and the intestine. This is what indicates the enlargement and hemorrhages of the cecal tonsils after death of the bird and this is hemorrhagic kilocytis inflammation of the kiloka. Thank you very much. Today's lecture was about this. Hopefully you will enjoy it. Thank you very much. God bless you.